Hello, here you are again, and now we'll talk, we'll have this next Tokubetsu about a Kyoden, about a teaching, about a method. This particular Kyoden is called uh, Eizu no Kyoden. A comes from Kage, from shadow, and Zu comes from Su, or Eito, the kanji for line. So what we have is a line of the shadow. What this method means, what this Kyoden means, is that we will allow the uke to enter very close to us to strike or to hit or to perform his attack and uh, we will let him uh, almost reach us. He get very close to us and the purpose for that is that we will create, we will uh, make him believe that he will cut us. The, the poetical point of view for this is that well, he would cut. Uh, the idea the ancient people, the ancient masters would have is that by allowing him to get so close to us and evading or entering in the last moment, he would be able to cut not ourselves, but our shadow. So, of course, just as almost everything from the ancient uh, masters and practitioners, especially in ancient Japan, this is a poetical point of view. Now let's see the practical aspect of it and how we can study this Kyoden, Eizu no Kyoden. Well, first of all, let's, let's say he comes um, with a ski. If I would perform this as a regular movement in Ayuchi, which is not this Kyoden, he comes and I measure the time he enters and I enter uh, with him or in the same time. Now, what we're going to do is I will allow him to get the closest as possible and even in the last minute. So, for us to do that, we have to I know, to, um, to analyze precisely the Ma'ai and the shape of his body and especially what would be what we can uh, see and understand as the, the origin of the movements. I mean, what gives him the many degrees of freedom of movement which his body has. In this case, for instance, I have to watch closely his shoulder first and his elbow and of course from here I can understand the final the final point of this movement. I cannot get caught here looking at the pisaki or at the bokuto or at the sword. I have to see the entire picture. So even if he enters, oh yes, it's easy to to do this movement quickly once. So it gets the closest we can. One more time. And now we have several several parts of his body which are exposed, including some soft tissues which we will use in this Kyoden. So in this case, for example, you have hand, we can show it for you. So we can now share this, this view of arise his hand. What we are doing is this, precisely here. So, from here, and here. I would pierce, he would come back, we would pierce to the end and finish by cutting him. Oh, this is one idea we just saw when he attacks us with a sword. Let's see what happens when we go to the other side. He is already here in Segon of Amai. He has both to us and he performs a full ski. So, one more time. We, we will not do he start and I start like this. We allow him to come very close to us and then in the last minute, in the last instant, we'll leave it. One more time, if you're walking for instance, and then he comes, you'll have this. Now we have soft tissues, we have nerve, we have muscle, yes. Now we'll find an angle in which he cannot continue uh, his at attacking movement, his attacking angles, and then Now, this is a Kyoden. Now, we can also see 
They killed it as a method, a particular method which can be applied to water arts and other techniques. Let's see in, uh, if he comes one more time with a Shinken. He is already here in Jodan no Kamai and he, and he is ready to cut. So instead of doing this, he comes and I go. This mid time is the room that he needs to <clears throat> accommodate my movement and to, and to change, to adapt to what I'm going to do. So what we will do is we'll have our arms down like this so we won't uh, we won't transmit, we won't convey any kind of movement of um, of some movement which is in, in my head already. We will let him come very uh, very close to ourselves and in the last minute instead of enter piercing we stay and the tanto enters. To the other side the same thing happens. We stay and just tanto enters. Of course we could continue this with several other tanto techniques. Now the same thing happens for tanto jutsu. Say we are here. Yeah, so let's see. If I put my guard like this, I open my belly, he will pierce me. I won't evade, so you can see the movement. Here it is. Now, instead of doing this, he pierces one more time. Instead of just blocking, giving him the time to move one more time, to change his movement, allow him to get very close to me. And just in the last minute, I'll enter. Say, what happens if he uh, pierces my face, for example? Instead of moving already, no. Hold until the final move, the final instant. So, we can go on. These are some pieces of application of Eizuv no Kyoden, which is a, a Kyoden, a particular teaching of a particular master. Uh, and we saw it against sword and we saw it in Tanto Jutsu. Thank you very much.